Hey guys, Zach here from MixChecks.com. Welcome back to this free gospel mixing course. And in my opinion, this is the video that kind of sums up this whole mixing course because today we're gonna to be focusing on mixing the gospel choir. So I know this song has a lead vocal, but after working with different gospel artists over the years, I realized that the choir, the background vocals is really what they want to shine. And in some cases, it's even louder than the lead vocal, depending on you know the artist's preference and that stuff. But we are going to jump into the gospel choir and I'm gonna show you how I go about mixing it. So let's jump right in. Okay, moving on to our gospel choir. So we got four of each of the parts and a choir mic. I think first what we're gonna do is let's just see how they sound. Usually the decision you have to make is if you want to process each vocal, like put the same plug-in chain on each one, or if you can get a rough mix, send it to a bus, and then do your processing there. So let's see what we're working with here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to a bus one way or the other, so oops, let's do that first. Go bus seven. Choir. Okay, so these are actually stereo tracks by themselves, multiple voices, so it's not just four. It's probably at least eight people. And they kind of already have panning set up, so I'm actually, normally I would start panning stuff, but I'm just gonna leave this how they have it set because I'm gonna assume that's the way they want it to sound. But I am still going to bus it to my own bus. And we're gonna just... And since they have multiple vocals on single tracks, you can't put auto-tune on it because it, it can't catch multiple people. So, I mean, it sounds like they're in pitch, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Normally, even if I was doing all my processing on the bus, I would still put auto-tune on each person just to make sure we don't have any pitch issues. Um, but in this case, they sound good, and I can't do it anyways, so we're just gonna roll with it. First things first, gonna whip out our SSO, V gain down. Surrendered his life for me. 
right now it seems kind of heavy on this side and it looks like my meters are confirming the same thing. So I'm gonna bump this a little bit to the right and see if that evens us out. Okay, so I'm really digging this sound right now. I really haven't done much to it. All I did was high pass it, compress it with the SSL, and then also do a little tiny boost at the this 8K shelf, which is always my go go to to make things cut. Just stock SSL straight up, crank the 8K. And this time it only needed a little bit. Sometimes I would go all the way to 15 dB, maybe on like a snare or something crazy. But this is sounding really good. Uh, I might pull out a little bit of low mids. I think I am going to add another compressor just to smooth it out a bit more. This time I think I'm going to use the bluey because I do kind of I want that more muffled sound. And let the lead vocal shine in that way. So we're going to do this. Okay, now let's let's send these to the to the room a little bit. And then also a tad bit to the vocal reverb, but I'm not gonna send these to the slap delay. Just keep that one solely for the lead vocal. And also, the big thing in gospel music, background vocals, choirs, they need to be loud, okay? Sometimes even, I've mixed tracks where they've asked me to make them almost, or pretty much louder than the lead vocal. So the choir is the feature in a gospel track. And that is what we're doing here. It's kind of, we're pushing it. It might be even a little bit louder than the lead vocal in some places. And 
also, now that we've got everything in the mix, I'm thinking that the snare could just be a tad bit louder. Beach ball me again because I'm saving it. Mm. Okay, well, we're gonna move on to the next video, which is going to be throwing our master bus processing on this and getting it mastered. So I will see you in the next video.